doesn't have guilty pleasure cravings. I do most of the times. And I'm sure you do too. But how do we manage these guilty pleasure cravings? Amidst our goals of practicing a healthy lifestyle. So you don't want to move a muscle. Stay tuned and let's see how we can manage this. Welcome back to a Healthy Am YouTube channel. On this platform, we encourage each other to make healthier choices through fitness and nutrition. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do not forget to hit on the red subscribe button and the notification bell so when we get new videos, you're informed real time. For all our returning subscribers, you are the real deal. Thank you for your ceaseless, endless support. I truly appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and to share our links with everybody in your social media handles so that we can spread our word to as many people as possible. So, back to our series. Today is episode 6 of our series on how to practice a sustainable health lifestyle and enjoy sustainable weight loss. Hey, we're talking about how to manage guilty pleasure cravings. What are those guilty pleasure foods that you crave most of the time? The things which are made of sugar, made of wheat, um, so much fat, and uh, you just enjoy them. The croissant, the cakes, um, cookies, um, fizzy drinks, you name it. What are those guilty pleasures that you love indulging in, but the sabotage your goal and maybe getting a slimmer version of yourself or a healthier version of yourself. But trust me, you grew up to perhaps eat this a lot and now you are getting older and you are having other goals, maybe goals to get slimmer or healthier. But from time to time, because you've lived your life, you know, indulging in those things, those cravings are bound to come. So how do you manage them while practicing a healthy lifestyle? I'm going to be sharing with you some tips. Tip number one, or the first thing which you need to do is you need to manage your portions. As I'll always say, when guilty pleasure cravings Come knocking at your door, let portion control be your antidote. So you want to watch the portions. If you usually eat four croissants or four pink choco, for example, or you have four bottles of um, fizzy drinks and now you really crave for it while you're practicing a healthy lifestyle, you want to reduce the number into half or one quarter. So you go for one instead of four, you go for one instead of five. So you need to wash the potions. The next thing is you need to plan your indulgence. So if this is a craving which has been coming up and you've been fighting or you've been trying to suppress it, another thing you can do is to plan your indulgence. Did you ever know that I crave the French baguette and table butter with chocolate. Yes, I do. I actually developed this habit when I was pregnant for my second son. But after I gave birth, there was no need for any excuse because it was no longer about the baby and the hormones. It was, it was about me and I had developed a habit. So... How did I manage this when I was getting back into full-time practicing of my healthy lifestyle, eating healthy? I decided that if I must engage in this, it's going to be only on Sundays. So from Mondays to Saturdays, you hardly see me eating that. But on Sundays, if the cravings come, then I'm going to have it, but I'm going to have a small quantity, not a full bread as I will have when I was pregnant. The next thing is the activities you do after you indulge 
in an unhealthy um, pleasure food is you need to be strict with the things you eat and engage in exercise religiously for the next three to five days. That is going to help to negate the effects of your unhealthy, guilty pleasure indulgence. And at the end of the day, you find yourself on track and attaining your goal of a healthy lifestyle and a sustainable weight loss. So I hope this tip was useful to you. If it added value to you, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if it keeps making sense to you, don't forget to share the link with as many people as you can on all your social media handles. And if you haven't subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, we keep being connected. Stay safe, stay blessed, and love you all. Bye for now.